What's up, everybody? Nate here from Out of the Basement, joined with Buck. Howdy. And today we're going on just a little bit of a hunt. Gonna stop at a few stores. Gonna check out our local Ollies, maybe a couple Walmarts, maybe yeah. the mall. Yeah. We're gonna be hunting for some figs, some Blu rays, some spooky Halloween stuff. Who knows what we're gonna find? Of course, this is our low budget vlog where we don't have the uh, drone like Justin does. No. So no. it's not gonna be as cool as a Justin vlog. But I think our personality is more than make up for it. <laughs> so we're at our first stop here, Ollie's, which has been getting the hyper real Darth Vader and some other goodies. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope that uh, we're going to find what we're looking for today. So let's go ahead and get into it. First order of business at Ollie's is, of course, checking out the comic book section just to see what they've got. Usually it's nothing too special, but every once in a while you can find something interesting going on here, but today doesn't appear to be one of those days. Here's a Deadpool minibus. Uh, That's kind of neat. An X-Files novel. A prequel of sorts. There's some other comic books here as well. Nothing too crazy, but that is to be expected. Well, let's go look at some toys. They've got Ray vintage collection figures on deck here. $3.99, so it's not a terrible price. But they've got about a million. They've got tons of Jar Jars for $12.99. Look at all of these. Ridiculous. Coming along to the next aisle, we've got even more Jar Jars. Someone, buy this figure. It's good, I promise you. Let's scan on through here. They do have these four inch little Star Wars figures. Also have a Janna here, $7.99 though. A little too much. More Jannas down here. Oh, we got a nice open ray, that's good. Ooh, we got Kanan. That's kind of neat. Tons of Last Jedi Ray though. No Stormtroopers or anything in sight. Oh, we got another open ray, that's good. Look at all of these, all $3.99, and they still are peg warming. Also got some of uh, these things here, so nothing too crazy so far. The trick to Ollie's is also paying attention to what's above you, because this is where they put most of their overstock. So there's always, usually some goodies up here that you might not see just yet, but I don't see much. Don't see much. Steve, I know you found a pickup here. <laughs> Fun for the whole family. It definitely won't bring up any any trauma. I like that. And no. if that's not your bag, then we've got the peeing pup. Teaches your kids responsibility. And uh, it work, work with their hands, with piss. You'll love this game. That's what Maury says. You'll love it. Who's my dad? And we're walking away empty-handed. Not all Ollies are created equal. Pretty much a barren wasteland in there. As you guys saw, there were some Jar Jars, some Janas, some Vals, tons of TVC Last Jedi Ray. Tons. But other than that, Jack and shit. And Jack left town. So now, we're gonna go to the mall. Did I say we were going to the mall? We're going to Walmart instead. All right, so the collectible section was an absolute disaster zone with absolutely nothing but uh look at this we got some red trip uh -huh. look at this Ooh. Ooh. that's sick and we got megatron cheetor nice they got the whole like vintage line here's a new member of the ghostbusters where's my favorite where's podcast Oh look, they even have Optimus Primal. They got, they got the whole damn squad of these uh, Beast Ew. Beast Wars figs. That's sick. Oh, we got uh, nothing in GI Joe Land, nothing in Marvel Land. Some of these three and three quarter inch figures. Motu Revelations got the usual suspects. Hey, yeah, there's actually a uh, AEW figure. Look at that, and all this WWE stuff. This is for you sleeping. This is for you. Is any of this good? I don't know. Whoa. All right. Oh, they got the Mission Fleet Razor Crest. 
that's new. And we got absolutely nothing else for like Marvel Legends. We do have a King Shazam. <laughs> Furniture has a phone call on line three. <laughs> oh, here we go. Justin showed me this the other day. Look at this swapped figure. We got some, we got King Robin. Do you have that armored Batman? He Man. Oh, here's my favorite frosted sugar cookies. That's my favorite fig right there. And over in Halo Land, we got a lone cat. Don't you just love it when the sun is just beaming right in your eyes? But we just left Walmart. You guys saw they had all the new Transformers Beast Wars stuff, but other than that, absolutely nothing. I feel like there was a good few weeks where there was tons of new product at Walmart, tons of new product at Target, but already that time has come and gone, and we're just back to the same old, same old, with nothing on the pegs at all. You saw that figure swap Lando there. That was actually not the Lando that Justin was ranting about uh, on the live stream this week. This is a completely separate Lando. Uh, at a completely different Walmart. So it definitely seems like we might be uh, experiencing a serial swapper in the area because the other Walmart is about 30-ish uh, minutes away and from the one that we just went into. So not good. Not good if this is the same person, which I would have to imagine it is. I mean, how do you run into another Empire Strikes Back Lando that's been swapped into the general Lando body. And my other question is, why does this person need so many general Lando bodies? It's already scummy enough that you're swapping the figure out, but to do it again, seemingly the exact same way at a different Walmart, it's just, this is ridiculous. And it's been a long time since we've seen swapped figures in our area. So this must be someone uh, new to the game here, but we've got a couple more stops left. It's looking grim today, not looking like there's going to be any pickups at all, but uh, you know, you guys said you'd watch vlogs without pickups in them, so here you go. You better watch this one, you better hit like and subscribe, so now we're officially going to be headed to the mall. It's Target time. All right, time for the collectibles section at the local Target. Hey, we got a Warhammer 40k figure bunch of the usual NECA suspects got some frogs got Mondo some King Kong all sorts of normal stuff they've got these uh, these things the Stranger Things figures that look terrible got a terrible looking John Cena too burning Gundam I like that I like that nothing crazy tons of Gundam models though look at all of these that's nice to see I do like some Gundam models. They also have these new four inch Gundam figures where you, if you collect the whole wave, it's a build a figure Zaku. That's pretty cool. Oh, more John Cena's. Those are never gonna go anywhere. All right, cool. All right, Star Wars time. Our latest pig warmer, the new TVC Lando. Jurassic Park is Stock to the brim. Same thing with Motu. Tons of Faker and all of these new peg warmers. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oh, we got a Ultimate John Cena. Hey, oh. Big sexy Kevin Nash. All these UFC figures. Tons of Mando model kits and stuff of that nature. Uh, not a whole lot going on here today. Got some DC figs going on. Armored Batman, King Shazam. Oh, we got Pokemon cards here on deck. Look at this sleeping. Look at that. We do have the Green Lantern 2-pack. I just picked that up from Wolfstalker. Got the Bat Cycle. Also Todd McFarlane Wonder Woman. It's a badass figure. Uh, not a whole lot going on in Joe's land here. Nothing crazy. The latest peg warmers. Uh, all the eternal figures. We also got Owen Wilson on deck. They really got the nose. <laughs> wow. Let's see what we got for Halo. Uh, some three packs. Mantis. Spartan collection stuff. 
nothing terribly crazy or anything that's sticking out to me today. I'm telling you, today is a bust. We got the animated Kong. Let's see what he's ringing up for. Ooh, <laughs> we're gonna put that back. We do got a misfit as well. Fiend skull. Maybe this is secretly on sale. <laughs> we're putting that back. All right. All this Lego stuff, who cares? Am I right, Justin? I've got to check the secret stash down here. All the way outside of the toy aisle, all the way down. Check out all of these breakers and all of the Angelina Jolie exclusive figures. Literally down in the home improvement section. Why have they started putting figures here? Who knows, but... <sighs> Another store, another bust. We got a fiend hiding out, the red one. We also have a popped up panel right here. Nothing underneath. All right. Dang it. Let's see, any more suspicious panels? All right, we're back over in the Marvel Legends section because I just noticed a very suspicious popped panel. And we got nothing underneath. What the heck? All right, anyways, we're out of here. Here we are at the Dying Mall. Going over to Dick's, get some sporting goods. Oh, yeah. All right, wasn't expecting to film anything in Books A Million, but we do got some figgies on deck here. Of course, we got some classic peg warmers there, but we also got some other goodies here. Some uh, McFarland, and then, uh, you know, respect to the, to the Berserk stuff. But I didn't expect to see old Dark Side Ray here. We got the armorer and Moff Gideon and another armorer. So that is honestly insane. And Steve's over here looking at hentai. We've made our way over to FYE. We got some Halloween 2 Michaels. We got the black and white Frankenstein. Some retro Mikey's there. The part 4 mask. That looks really good. Uh-oh. Throw that in the dumpster. <laughs> I think I'm going to get this ghost shirt. <laughs> just so, just to wear it around Nate. We got some McFarlane stuff here. Polka Dot Man. Harley Quinn. We got plenty of legends down here. It looks like Villains Wave. Abomination Wave. Captain Falcon. I do see a Dr. Fate. That's the first time I've seen the non-Platinum Edition with the darker colors. That's pretty cool. Our right, way down to the other figs. We've got tons more Marvel Legends. Tons of Disney Plus Wave figures. Hey, we actually got a nice little supply here of some vintage collection goodies. Admiral Akbar, we got Teddy Bell's room with surprise on these. Oh, 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 we're putting that back. Oh, okay, we're putting that back. We're putting that back. Oh my gosh. We got some Neck of Marty McFly action going on there. Let's see Batman. Hot Pursuit Flash. She got masked. We got all the Dune peg warming figures here. They're not going anywhere. We do have a nice wedge. And Jenna sitting back there. Got got, the, got a little reaction papa there for you, Steve. Uh -huh. And let's see. We got some more Kongy boys. We got tons of Avatar stuff. Even got a few Marvel Select. Thor and uh, Titanium Man down there. But, uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on here. It's kind of cool. Little Cthulhu man. All right. Same old, same old. All right, here we are at the end of our journey, walking away almost completely empty-handed. Almost. 
Got a couple t-shirts. You got a ghost shirt. I got a Cowboy Bebop shirt because they were buy one, get one half off. So, you know, and Steve got Maki of Japan, Mm. but uh, I'm holding it. Classic mall. Wish you could smell it through the video. (laughs) Classic mall meal. We love our Maki of Japan, but that's it. That's the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know there wasn't any pickups and there wasn't really a whole lot on the shelf, but sometimes that's the way it goes. And you guys said that you would watch the videos even if we didn't find anything. So I'm counting on you. (laughs) I'm counting on you. And we had a Bucker appearance in this. Huh? So, you know that's right. Thumbs up for Buck? Thumbs up for Come Buck. On. But, of course, I'm Nate. Join with Steven. Take care. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.